What's up guys? Welcome back. Today's video is my top 10 pieces of everyday carry gear for 2022. Let's get into it. Alright, so here's how it's going to go. I've got 10 pieces of gear, but also some honorable mentions that will come at the end. So we're going to start with my wallet for the year. Now, I rotated between a lot of these, but in the past month I've received a package and this was in it and it has become my daily driver wallet since. This is the Dango A10 Wallet Special Edition. It also has the A10 pull pocket adapter in rawhide on the back. So you just pull that and the tabs come up and you just play back. That is rawhide leather, it's amazing. But this is the A10 Special Edition in walnut. I love the walnut plate. There are different materials you can get for that plate. I believe there's a G10 one. There is a, a I believe there's a titanium one. If it's not a titanium, it's aluminum. I don't remember. I'm not sure. I'm still new to it because I, this was the only one that I wanted. I love the look of walnut. But yeah, this thing holds four cards in the front. And in there I have just my Dango cards. Uh, and then it will hold two in the back. And if you slide that up, you have a secret spot for cash, which I like that. But also, if you want, let me just take one of these cards out. You can take your ID. This is not, clearly, but it can work as it for just a second. And slide it in right there if you always have to have it showing. So yeah, that's actually what I wanted it for. But I don't need that anymore. So, it's fine. But I love this wallet. It has been so handy. And if you don't, if you don't put the pull pocket adapter, which also there are other pieces for it, you can get all sorts of different accessories for this wallet. That's why I like it. It's called the A10 Adapt, which stands. That's what the A stands for is Adapt. Uh, and you can just make it your own. You you can buy the same wallet as ten other people, and you don't have the same wallet because you get to make it how you like it. And there's actually some Detex materials that I would like to get in the future just to make it more myself because you guys know I love Dango's Detex products. But yeah, if you don't get the pull pocket on the back, it just, it's super slim. It's pretty lightweight too, but I personally like to have this on the back because when you put it back there, you can slide some folded bills in there and you never know. There's always cash in there. Well, not always, but you never know that there's, that people are carrying their cash in the back of their wallet. So yeah, this will run you, just the wallet itself will run you $120 on Dango's website. And then if you want the pull pocket adapter, it is $35 on Dango's website as an add-on. But I have a discount code with Dango. So you can save 10% off that purchase with my code SHELBY10, and it'll be down here and also in the description below. You can go check out all of Dango's products. Now, this video isn't sponsored by Dango. I'm just saving you guys some money there. Uh, yeah, and there's we're going to see some more Dango products as we go because I use them a lot. So let's move on because our next category is our knives. So when it comes to pocket knives, I have three that I rotate between, and that is my Saviti Baby Banter in two different colors. I have the blue and the green, the Wee Banter in OD green, and the Wee Miscreant. But the one that found its way into my pocket the most this year was, of course, the Savivi Baby Banter in Ben Blue. This is my favorite pocket knife by far this year. It was in my pocket more than the others because of its small size, but also the portability because of said small size. This thing is amazing. Now I could go into details on the specs and stuff, but I already have another video on that. You can check it out up here. I'll link it up there. And this little knife will run you $60 from NASCO. Now you can also buy it from Civivi or Smoky Mountain Knife Works, any place like that. But NAVS is the best way to support the designer of this knife because that's his business. I also have the Baby Banter uh, air freshener for my car. It smells fantastic and it looks just like this. And I love it so much. I think it's like $5 on NAVS website. Also, everything that I talk about in this video will be linked down below in the description. Some of them will have discount codes to help you guys save a little cash this holiday season. But also, some of the majority of them are not affiliate links. They are just me showing you guys what I carry. So yeah, that's the knife for 2022. Now, of course, every category will have an honorable mention, and those will be at the end. But yeah, the Spavy Baby Banter was the one that was in my pocket the most this year. Uh, and that, like I said, will run you $60. So the next item is a, not a, is a pocket tool, but it's technically a multi-tool. This one just has the word pocket tool in the name. And if you can't guess it, I'm sure most of you probably can, it is the Griffin Pocket Tool Original in Titanium. I love this little thing, and I just added a little lanyard on the back of it. I love this little thing. It can You can use it as like a little hook, and you can just loop stuff on it. Like if you're camping or something, and you want to cook something over the fire, got a hook for it. 
This little thing will run you $45 because it is the titanium version, but if I'm correct, the original with just plain, I don't remember what the steel is, cannot remember because I have the titanium one, I believe it's $20. But I personally like the titanium one just to complete my titanium carry. But yeah, this one will run you $45. It's got, I believe it's eight different tools, but I mainly just use it for that pry bar, especially with uh, camera stuff. It's great. I love it. It's great. Uh, it's a, also, it just like slides in your pocket and you never know it's there. I also like to shove it into uh, pouches, which are coming later, and I'll show you where I put it in said pouch when we get to that point. Alright, next category is watches. So for me, watches are my probably my favorite part of my carries. I rotate them out, and I have a lot, of which there are two honorable mentions for this category, which are later, but the one that is on my wrist that I just took off is the Casio World Time. This thing is my favorite watch right now. That little... Hold on a second, press the wrong button. <laughs> that little amber backlight, I love it. I love the features on this watch. You've got world times, you have a digital and regular analog clock, and I love it so much. The detail in it is amazing, and it's only $20 at Walmart. Now, you can find them at other places, but I found mine at Walmart for 20 bucks, and it's amazing. It's taken a beating, and it's still, honestly, a great daily watch. I will be wearing it for a very long time, and honestly, probably until it dies. I am looking at getting an upgrade to the band. I don't love the cheap rubber band, but Barton Bands offers some different adapters, and you can put a silicone band on it, some leather bands, anything you want, really. And that's what I'm looking at doing later on in the coming year. Uh, but there are two other honorable mentions for watches that will come later. But this one has been on my wrist the most in the past three months, probably. Now, don't get me wrong. I had the two others that I rotated at the beginning of the year. But since I bought this one, this has been on my wrist the most. Next up is a little something that I use. Personally, I use it a lot. And that would be notebooks. Like I said, there is an honorable mention category. But for me, the go-to is field notes. Because I can get a pack of three for $12. And that's pretty great. It's a pack of three. I believe they're 48 pages. Yeah, 48 page memo book. I personally like the graph lines. I don't know about you. Sometimes I like the dots, but I prefer the lines. Uh, but yeah, these little notebooks, you can throw them in your pocket. You can literally do, you can put them wherever. I normally keep one in my backpack no matter what, I, just in case I need it. And I normally have a pen with it, which actually leads us into the next category, pens. The pen that I normally keep on here is the Big Idea Design TI Mini Click in Stonewash Titanium. I love this little pen. It is a 70, not 75, it's a $70 pen. It is titanium, so yeah. But normally when it's in my backpack, they are clipped together like that and I throw it in the front pocket and it's always on me in case I need it. Now there are people I know that carry them in their pocket, but I personally don't like to do that and I don't want to lose my pen. So I thought my backpack, good to go. Yeah, that's how I keep it. So the next category is flashlights. Now I got a little bit of explaining to do for that one too. So let's go. All right, so for flashlights, I don't have two. I only have one. Uh, so there's not an honorable mention for that category, but the watches make up for that because there's two of them. So the flashlight that I'm choosing for the best gear of 2022 is the Olight i3T EOS. I love this light so much. It's pocket size. It's got three different modes for your bright, not three, two different modes for your brightness. And a, I believe it's not reversible, but like it's double sided clip. So you can clip it this way. You can clip it right here and wear it on your hat, like right here. So if you're working on something, it doesn't fall off. So here's your brightness mode. So there's your little flash warning. You've got low and high. And I can't remember the exact amount of lumens they are. I believe it's 500 lumens on the brightest setting. This is a $20 flashlight. It runs on one singular AAA battery and you just unscrew the top, plop it in, good to go. So in my opinion, if you're taking this thing on a vacation or anything like that, your battery dies, you just run to any little grocery store around, they've got batteries, grab a AAA battery and you're set. I love it so much. It's pocket size. You don't know what's in there. You can put it right beside your knife in your pocket. That's how I personally carry it when I take it. Or it's in a pouch, which we'll also get to in just a minute. I actually think they're up next. So let's go on to pouches. Now, this one does have an honorable mention in its category, but like I said, will come later. But my favorite pouch of the year has to go to my OD Green Zero Feud pouch. I've got my Toxic, uh, yeah, Toxic Spam EDC, a uh, little Super Cell patch, and my Wee Banter patch. Uh, but yeah, you this thing just opens up with the zipper with an awesome Hank lanyard. It's bright orange in there. 
And personally, how I like to do it, I'll plop knife, pen, flashlight, whatever I can fit. Normally it's a knife, flashlight, and a pen, but because I put it on my notebook, we're gonna go with the multi-tool. I'll fit snugly in there. I throw it in my pocket, good to go. Now, I can also throw in uh, a pen in there if I want to as well. So yeah, next up, oh, and this one will run you $20. Next up is the tech portion of this. All right, for tech, the one thing I have for you guys that I highly recommend is this Anchor MagSafe charger. It's portable, it's MagSafe, or you can use the USB port at the end of it. You can use it either way. I personally prefer the MagSafe, but it's also a stand. So you can stand it up on any surface and it just sits and it boom, clips onto your phone. MagSafe obviously charges it. It can get you a good fully charged, but normally if I'm using it, I just need a little extra to get me through the day. And I just keep it in my backpack as a just in case. Yeah, it's a great little addition to your to your carry. And only 75 bucks for a MagSafe charger, it's not bad at all. And you just turn it on, and you've got your indicator lights at the bottom down there. Yeah, and you can also plug in the USB-C port. Now you can use that to charge it. It's technically how you're supposed to, or you can use it to plug in a cord and charge your devices. I personally only use it for my phone, but I have used it for my AirPods and they will sit on the MagSafe part of the charger. It's not the best connection, that's why I prefer for that using the USB-C port. But other than that, it's a fantastic charger and for only $75, you cannot go wrong with it. That one I found on Amazon because Anchor has come out with a newer one that has a better battery life, but I'd already bought this one and so I'm gonna stick with this one. All right, the last item on the list is one of my favorites, and it is something that I have in my pocket every single day. I always have some sort of handkerchief in my pocket. Today I have my Christmas Mighty Hank, but I'm not gonna get it out, uh, but because we're a week away from Christmas, so I've got that in my pocket. But my normal one is an awesome Hank, uh, Hank of some sort with the lanyard on it, or the tag Hanks, I like them both. Awesome Hank has been a supporter of the channel for about a year now, and I'm so happy to have them as a supporter and as some friends as well. They're a great company, they make great products, and I love the quality that they produce in their Hanks. Very thick, not cheap microfiber, I love them. Now the honorable mention is also a great Hank, and it's more budget friendly, but these will mainly run you between $20 and $25, depending on what you get. Sometimes it can be $15 if you get the tag Hanks, but they are not available in, no, I take that back, they are available in every design now. So yeah, $15 to $25 for this, it's not bad at all. It's great quality, handmade, it's amazing. I highly recommend you go check them out too. I don't have a discount code with them, but they are a great supporter of our channel, or my channel, and they love, uh, they love it when you guys support them. So go check them out. I'll link their products down below. All right, that is the main pieces of gear. Let's move on to the honorable mentions. Okay, so our honorable mentions, there's one for each category, and I have the prices as we go. So for the wallets, this one was in my pocket so much this year, but that wallet one just topped it for me this year. But the other wallet in my pocket for the year was the Dango Products DO3 Dapper Bifold in DTEX. I love this little wallet, and for 40 bucks, it's amazing. It can hold up to 14 cards with all the extra pockets that it has. I personally only carry four, so I don't need that much. So what I do is I use this extra, sp extra space for cash. It's great. Fits in your pocket, it's cheap, it's a great high quality wallet. And yeah, Dango products, you know you know how much I love them. They make great quality products for you guys to use for your everyday carry. So that is the honorable mention for wallets. Now for the knives, because I have a hard time choosing, uh, I rotate between three, three main ones. Technically it's four because I have one in, the, in two different colors. But for this year, the honorable mention for the knife is the Wii Miscreant 3.0. Now this one will run you $160. It's a really expensive knife. It's got milled titanium handles, but it's great quality. It's a flipper. Man, the action on this thing, it's fantastic. I love it. It's super um, fidgety. It's a great knife, great quality. And the Brad Zinker designs, amazing. I love it. It is on the more expensive side compared to the Baby Banter, but I gotta throw it in there because it is such a great knife. I also don't recommend carrying it in shorts because of how long it is. That is why the baby banter was on the list because the majority of the year when I'm wearing shorts, the baby banter just fits so much better. So yeah. All right, the next honorable mention is the multi-tool of choice and that is the Gerber Dime. 
the Gerber Dime with a Dango Products lanyard uh, is a great little multi-tool for 20 bucks. Uh, it ranges from 15 to 25 depending on where you get it. I pay 20 for mine at Academy Sports. But you've got pliers on the inside. Let's see. Pliers on the inside. And then when you fold them in, all your tools are on the outside. And I like that all the tools are out here and not on the inside. So I don't have to have the pliers open to get to my tools. I just open them up from the outside. My favorite tool on this thing, though, it's so random, but it is fantastic at what it does. Let me get it open. And that is the package cutter. This little thing, is it's sharp, but it cuts through plastic like nobody's business. It's amazing. And for 20 bucks, you cannot go wrong. And I believe there's 10 to 16 tools on this. I'm not 100% sure on that. I had to look it up. But I know there is more than 10. And there's also a hidden pair of tweezers. They're not the best, but I mean, when you need them in a pinch, they're there. <laughs> no pun intended. Okay, and this one, like I said, is $20 uh, at Academy, but you can find it for cheaper or for more expensive at other places as well. All right, the next honorable mention is the watches. And first up, we're gonna go with my favorite of the year, the Dango Products Dapper Watch. This is the leather uh, band. I do have an OD Green NATO strap for it, but the last time I wore it, I wore it with the leather. It's amazing, and you can't see it right now. Let's see if I can get the glow. It has an amazing loom after you charge it up a little bit. If you're outside with this on all day, oh man, it's awesome. But I mean, look, you can kind of see it. Well, no, you really can't see it. I, it's charged up a little bit and it looks fantastic. It's a great little watch. It is heavy and that one will run you $130, which is on the cheaper side for Dango watches, but they have some new ones coming out in the next little bit. And I highly recommend you go check those out. The other watch is, uh, is a smart watch. It is my Apple Watch Series 6, which this one will run you about $200 roughly because you know you've had more come out. But yeah, the It'll run you about $200. I love this watch. I have an OD Green Solus Band strap. It is not the Apple Band uh, braided loops. It is a Solus Band. I also have a discount code with them. I believe it is uh, Shelby Puckett uh, underscore YT official, my Instagram handle. Uh, but if it's not, I will have everything linked down below. Those will save you 10% off Solus Bands. I love them. They're stretchy. They're flimsy. Like they don't. They're water resistant. So if you're sweaty, they're not gonna smell. They. I tested that out this summer. Doesn't smell. It's amazing. They also don't leave rashes. They're great. I love them so much, and they're really worth it. They're like twenty five dollars per band. Fantastic. Compared to Apple being at ninety nine dollars for one, that's ridiculous. Pay the twenty five dollars, get a solace band, and I'll leave a link down in the description below. And also another honorable mention. A mini notebook. This is also from Tango Products. It's a 48 page mini notebook. It is the dots, but I still love it. I love the size of it. It's so tiny. It's just, it's no joke the size of the pen. So perfect little mini setup if you want. Uh, and speaking of pen, uh, those will run you $10 for a pack of three, by the way. Speaking of mini pen, the other pen honorable mention is the Dango Products mini pen. This is the satin silver version. I love this one, but the one thing I don't like about it, I personally just don't like the refill, but that's just me. So you can write with it like this, or you can put it in the lid, make it a little bit longer, which is personally how I like to do it. But it's a great pen regardless. I just personally don't love the refill that they used for it, but you can spot that out yourself. So it's great. It's a great little pen and it'll run you 40 bucks. And then we have two more, two more honorable mentions. The last part of the organizers is the art company Boulder XL. This is the digital camo, I believe. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on the title, but I love the camo version. And you can fit a knife, flashlight, and a pen in here. How I normally set it up is the baby banter, uh, my Olight i3T, and any pen, but because the dango one is right here, I'll just grab it. Boom. You can also open it up and you can use it as a wallet as well or you can hold a hank in there which is also an honorable mention this is the gondek edc hank it's this, this is the caterpillar the hungry caterpillar hank uh, that's one of my favorite books as a kid so i have the very hungry caterpillar hank you can fold it up let me fold it up a little bit smaller so it'll fit boom now you have your entire edc and an organizer Tank, flashlight, pen, and knife all in there. You can also hold cash and cards in it too, but yeah. And this little organizer will run you $45 on our company's website, and I'll link it down below. 
They are also a big supporter of the channel and some great friends. I highly recommend you go check their products out. They're amazing. And like I mentioned, the last honorable mention is the Gondek EDC Caterpillar Hank. And any Gondek EDC Hank will run you $10. No matter what, unless you get a custom one, I believe those are a little bit more expensive. But this one, 20 bucks. No, $10. I'm so sorry, I misspoke. $10 Hanks. They're fantastic. They are, they're pretty big compared to my awesome Hank ones. I love the size of them because I can fold them up into a little square and I'm good to go. I just throw it in my back pocket and go. Super high quality, very lightweight. It's fantastic. I highly recommend you go pick them up if you're looking for a budget friendly Hank this holiday season. But if you're in the mood for anything else, I highly recommend uh, Awesome Hank. And I'll link all of their social medias down in the description that way you guys can go follow them over on Instagram. All right. I think that's it for this video, so let's head to the outro. Well, guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking around to the end. If there was any piece of gear that you were specifically looking for, I'll leave a timestamp down below. That way you can go find it, go check it out. Also, everything talked about in this video is linked in the description below, along with the socials to all the companies that I talked about, if I can find them. If I can't, sorry, but the majority of them should be down there. Like I said, you can use code SHELBY10 at checkout at Dango Products to save 10% off your purchases. And I believe for Solus Bands, it is Shelby Puckett underscore YT official. And I'll have those on the screen too so that you know how to spell them. And they'll be down in the description with the links to the websites. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for all the support that you've given me for the past year. And I hope that 2023 grows this channel even bigger. I will see you next time.